I've always liked timber framing. I've always liked making a whole structure, a beautiful structure, out of wood. And in Hertfordshire, it's got lots of old barns, but none have been built recently. There's nobody alive who can remember from their father or their grandfather being shown how to do it. So this is going to be a project stretching back to a craft, to a tradition that hasn't been carried out for 150 years, perhaps longer. elm barns rather than oak barns that I've seen all around here. I noticed that there are still elm trees about. Then I discovered that East Anglia has these pockets of elms that are resistant to the Dutch elm disease. I looked into it and decided, right, it's going to be an elm barn and it's going to be done in the way that they did it 200 years ago. It's really enjoyable to do, it's a craft. So it's not just the thing that you make, it's the, it's the process you have to, to get there, to, to make that finished thing. So you don't hear the buzz of constant power tools. People are talking to each other, having a nice time. They're helping each other move bits of wood around. It's something about timber framing in the past that is a bit of a community thing, and certainly you need lots of people to put this sort of thing together for the frame raising. I think when we use timber, or the different species of our native, native trees, then we can appreciate the beauty of that piece of wood or what it can do for us. And then we have a greater pride or interest in that species' survival. So we're less indifferent to it just becoming extinct or forgotten.